Five Unusual People in the World, Part 128. Hello, you guys. I'm Kisha, and have a great day. The difference always exists in each person. It is sometimes something that we cannot choose, but in reality, life is ours, and the differences of some individuals are not respected. Are you ready? Let's begin. A girl suffering from the disease of immediately falling down when seeing an attractive and handsome man. This is a rare, bizarre case in England. The situation even made her not dare look at the opposite sex when going out. Number five, Kirsty Brown. Kirsty Brown, born in 1989 in Northwich Street, Cheshire County, England, was diagnosed with cataplexy. A disease that can lead to sudden muscle paralysis. She won't be able to control her body anytime she has strong feelings. This rare condition is often associated with narcolepsy, a type of sleep disorder that causes intense daytime sleeping needs and sudden sleep. A cataplexy attack usually lasts a few minutes or less and then passes without intervention. However, it's important to make sure that the person won't hurt themselves if they fall. An individual experiences cataplexy remains conscious. Able to breathe and can move their eyes. If Kirsty saw someone and was attracted, she would be suddenly paralyzed and knees dropped. Not only that, but loud noises, fear, anger, and laughter could also cause a similar reaction to Kirsty. Therefore, every time she walks on the road, she only stares at the ground to avoid hurting herself if she suddenly falls. Kirsty's condition soon manifested after a head injury when she was nine. This condition made her difficult, as she was a single mother, and it was difficult to find work that could understand her situation. Recently, Kirsty was no longer aroused so strongly that it was paralyzed. This was great, but she was also a bit sad because she wanted to feel attracted to someone. We all know that albinism is a disease. It affects many people in this world. However, with the development of fashion today. A person has made a spectacular career in the fashion world thanks to his albinism. Number four, Sean Ross. Sean Ross, born on May 10, 1991, in the Bronx, New York, is an African American. Sean was born with congenital albino, known to be the first male model with albinism in the world. Soon becoming a dancer. Sean Ross decided to follow a modeling career from the age of 16. Looking at his success, few people think how bad things he went through during his childhood. From a young age, Sean Ross was teased and bullied by many people because of his different appearance. He was called by all kinds of nicknames, from powder to white bread. As a student, Sean was stabbed in the back with a pencil. Fortunately, he is in America, because if he was in some other places. It might not just stop at the immature kids bullying each other. I remember there was an announcement about people with albinism in Tanzania or some other African countries of being killed or mutilated. In addition to modeling, Sean Ross is also known as an actor. He has appeared in many major magazines, cooperated with famous directors, participated in many films, acted in music videos, and is the face of many brands. As one of the first and most successful fashion models with albinism, Sean's confidence and fearlessness paved the way for other ambitious models to work, no matter what skin they are in. When it comes to models, we all think that they have a slim body with a standard height and weight. However, this girl will surprise you at what seems strange to many people. Number three, Iskra Lawrence. Iskra Lawrence was born on September 11, 1990, in Worcestershire, England. Looking at her plump body, few people would believe that she is a model. Iskra is currently the world's leading fat model, with a height of 5 feet 8 and body measurements of 43.5, 36.4, 45.6 inches. She is considered the icon of confidence and inspiration for fat sisters, but few know she used to be very self-confident about her round physique. Few people know that Iskra Lawrence had a miserable time because of her massive appearance. She spent a lot of time adjusting her diet and exercising to get a less fat body. 
In the process of working out, Iskra Lawrence gradually dismissed her self-esteem and appearance, thinking positively and shaping her own style. Instead of following a standard body, Iskra Lawrence learned to accept her oversized physique. She loves her body by eating scientifically and never starves. She often eats salmon, sweet potatoes, broccoli, eggs. Her favorites are burgers and chocolate. Iskra Lawrence allows herself to enjoy delicious food, but infrequently. Hot work is also the secret to helping Iskra Lawrence maintain a hot curve. Specifically, Iskra Lawrence exercises, squats regularly four times a week. Through her story, Iskra Lawrence wishes to promote body confidence, healthy lifestyle, confidence, and optimism for the sisters. The unicorn in European culture, also known as the one-horned horse, is a mythical creature with a common shape known as the white horse with a single horn on its forehead. So, if it weren't for horses but humans, what would we call them? Number 2. Lang Xiuzhen Lang Xiuzhen was born in 1928 in Sichuan province, China, known for her special large horn on her forehead which looks like the horn of a legendary unicorn, and she is called the Unicorn Woman by her villagers. Xuxian noticed something like a black mole growing on her head in 2007. She and her family tried to cure her itch with traditional Chinese medicine, but it didn't work. However, around 2013, this mole gave way to a small, horn-like mass about the size of a little finger. Xuxian later cracked the horn, but it has grown back and speeded up, now 5.1 inches long. The new heart horn resembles an animal's horn in shape and color. The skin around the horn is bright red and sometimes blood seeping through. It's very painful, sometimes so painful that she cannot sleep. Doctors have diagnosed this tumor as cornucutaneum, a keratosis tumor shaping like a horn. The doctor said that they could remove the developmental part, but the family hesitated because of Shuzan's age. And with this abnormally fast-growing condition, Doctors are concerned that the horn may already have cancer cells, and due to the old age and weak health, the family didn't perform surgery. A WHO report recommends that adults eat no more than 12 teaspoons of sugar per day. Meanwhile, this girl eats up to 30 teaspoons a day. Number 1. Emily Lee Hayward Emily Lee Hayward, born in 2015, in the UK, only eats strawberry yogurt every day, but is still completely healthy. She can play with all the food, but will get excited if you try to feed her those. Emily Lee doesn't eat candy, doesn't eat ice cream, doesn't eat chocolate, and she will even cry all day if she has to eat something other than yogurt. The mother breastfeed Emily from a young age, but since eating yogurt, she never ate anything else. Each 47 gram strawberry yogurt box contains 1 teaspoon of sugar. That means, Emily Lee consumed 30 teaspoons of sugar per day, twice as much as the medical recommendation. Emily Lee's parents have to spend an extra £2,000 a year for their daughter's quirky hobby. Emily Lee's mother is very worried if this situation continues. She sent her daughter to see a pediatrician, nutritionist, but no one was able to help her family. The family were afraid Emily Lee would have health problems when growing up. But that didn't happen. Although the family is full of encouragement and comfort, Emily Lee cannot eat anything else. Mrs. Naomi has to go to the supermarket every day to make sure the yogurt is enough for Emily Lee. The climax of Emily Lee is to eat 11,000 cans of yogurt a year. A spokesman for British Nutrition Association said that Emily Lee could have anemia. However, up to now, her health is still nothing to worry about. Those are special people that I'm sure I can hardly find such a second person as them. And I was especially impressed with the guy who is so heavy that the king had to order him to lose weight. This is a kind monarch. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.